Have we reached peak recovery? If we look at the data, uh, what we can see is that the impetus of growth that we had seen at the beginning of the year basically reached its peak in May, June for most developed economies, for the major economies globally. Since then, what we have seen is basically stabilization, not uh, a significant reduction, pretty much in line, but we're not seeing that uh, growth and increase in estimates that we saw in the first six months. Um, if we look at consumer confidence, PMIs, uh, uh, the uh, economic surprise index and the uh, credit impulse of most economies, all of that is slowing down. However, there are three elements that we need to pay quite a bit of attention to. The first one is inflation. Despite this peak of growth and this slowdown in some of the uh, improvement in the economies, the reality is that a very significant proportion of the increase in prices that we have seen in 2020 and 2021 remains stubbornly uh, there. It doesn't go down. We have seen, for example, how in commodities like aluminum, in which there is ample capacity, in fact overcapacity, uh, there, the prices continue to rise. Food prices, fresh food prices, uh, non-replicable goods and services. Consumers are feeling the pinch of inflation much harder than what the official figures show. And that is a burden on growth, it's a burden on consumption, and it's definitely a burden on the disposable income of citizens now that savings rate has come down dramatically from the peaks of 2020. Uh, the other element to pay attention to is government spending. Too much government spending too soon, first, generated very, very little f push forward to the economy in 2020 and the beginning of 2021. And now that government spending is starting to slightly moderate, huh, the contractive uh, impact remains while the debt impact remains high because deficits remain hugely elevated. The third factor that we need to pay attention to is the jobless recovery. We're all talking about the reduction in unemployment, which is acceptable, but we forget that it's happening at the same time as there is a massive uh, fiscal and monetary stimulus. So if we put it in the context of the amount of money that is being injected in the economy, the job recovery is not just slow, it is extremely poor and it's particularly poor in countries that have had furloughed jobs and that have had different schemes to subsidize jobs. Those three elements, inflation, government spendings and deficits, plus the jobless recovery, generate at least the risk risk of a stagflation environment. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.